the first one cancels, the second one becomes uh, ASL, uh, so you're left with uh, L over B, right? If I put one, 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 hmm, that's wrong, huh? It's not the same. Hmm, that's interesting. It's not the same. Does that make sense? So it's, it's a weaker, it's a, a stronger magnetic field here. Maybe, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Go back, mu zero i, b. And this one is just going to be u if I change the. I'm surprised nobody caught me. You know, right away, you should have told me, hey, hey, something's going on. You're doing wrong u squared plus v squared. Now I change the variables from uh, 0 is, uh, I put in x is 0, I get a, x is a over l. Now that switches this. Um, 0 equals a, a minus l. l is uh, a minus l. Let's see here, 0 is minus L. Hold on. If I put in uh, x is 0, I get u is a. If I put in x is L, I get a minus L. Then I switch the integrals to Yeah, this is this is u. So you have here a over a squared plus b squared. This is this should be really a simple thing, but because I was careless, uh, <laughs> continually. Uh, you have a squared, a over a squared plus b squared minus, and then this one you put in minus So what lesson does this teach? Even though you know something backwards and forwards, just do it carefully, you know? <laughs> okay, I think now it's right, huh? That makes a big difference in the answer. Because my result didn't make sense, you see? So that, that's why it's good to check the result like that. OK, now I think I have it right. If I put in a is 0, I get this one cancels, and I get uh, l. If I put in a is 0, I get l over. L over a squared plus b squared to the one half. So one, if I put in a is zero, no, I get zero, 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 zero. L squared plus b, you just get l squared plus b squared on the bottom, right? If a is zero, everything cancels out. So wherever a is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the only thing that's left is L over L squared plus B squared. So 1, 1, 1, and then 1. So that doesn't change my answer, right? My answer is still 1 over square root of 2. 
Now I put A is equal to L, and I should get the same answer if I did it right. All right? You put it in there, L. Second one cancels, L. L squared plus B squared. Ah, good. I love it. I love, 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 love. One, 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 boom. Everything good. I'm happy. Okay. Whew. That, was, that should have been simple. Now, what if I put A is L over 2? What should this come out? Well, I think since it's the midpoint, uh, it's sort of closest to this side and then this side. Um, by the way here, there's no cancellations taking place. Remember when I set up the integral, I didn't have to use symmetry? Why? Well, because every element, the current is going this way, right? So they just keep all adding up over there. Like this, like that, like that, like that, like that. So they all add up over there. So I don't have to worry about electric fields canceling and stuff, OK? So since this is the midpoint, I believe it should be the strongest B field at, of any point. This is along the middle axis, right? So <clears throat> now I put uh, um, A is L over 2, and I should get L over 2. L squared over 4 plus B squared. And then I get minus. And then I get L over 2 minus L over uh, L. So that's a negative L over 2 over. And I put L over 2 minus L, negative L over 2, L squared plus. So again, L squared over 4 plus B squared. Right? They just add up, and they're the same exact thing. So uh, I could get rid of this, multiply this by 2. So get rid of the 2. So I've got uh, that's it, right? Now I put in my numbers. 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's going to be 1 over square root of, uh, this is 1 and 1 fourth, right? So 1.25. Is it bigger? Yeah, it's bigger because that one is square root of 2. This, this one square root of 1.25. Now I wonder if I can go back to, uh, uh, let me see, if, if I set B equal to 0, what happens? Remember the one that I was doing here? B equal to 0, so this one was wrong. B equal to 0, this becomes 1. B equal to 0, this becomes also 1. Huh? So what I'm going to show you, uh, I'll do it next time. Uh, I'll show you a trick of how do we find the limit, and we can see what, if it makes sense or not. Good. Finally, we got it to work. Now, next